Hi everyone, good morning. It's bright and early. We're getting started on a new project today, which I'm super excited about. I'm also excited about to share with you my new aprons. I just got them in and this was the perfect opportunity. New project, new apron. And so we are gonna use this dresser as our next project. This is one of my pieces in my inventory and lately I've been doing so much commission work for clients that I haven't had an opportunity to do any of my own pieces. So I'm kind of excited. I have a little bit of a break in there that I can go ahead and incorporate a piece of my own. So this beautiful nine drawer dresser, um, solid wood, we're gonna go ahead and refinish using all general finishes products today. And that is probably my number one paint. If you follow me at all, you know I would say that 90% of all my posts say, GF products, GF products. In the beginning I got asked a lot, what is GF? So general finishes is the paint line that I prefer. Um, I use their milk paint line. It's a water-based acrylic milk paint and it's awesome. Um, it's got a top coat built in, although I do recommend sealing your pieces for extra protection. So on this particular project, we're gonna use um, a few different products made by General Finishes. We're gonna stain this top in the Java Gel, my favorite, I know, I use it all the time, but I can't help it. You gotta stick with what works, what sells, what people love, and I love it. I love working with the gel stain. Um, I do use water-based stains on occasion, but I've just gotten so used to and accustomed to the greatness, if you will, of the gel stain that I stick with it. So we're gonna do the top and the Java Gel, and I haven't quite decided yet on the base what color. Um, I'm either gonna go with an antique white, which is my number one seller, or I may go with one of the grays. So that is kind of something that just comes to me as I'm starting to take apart the dresser, but we're definitely gonna be using General Finishes products on this one. Um, we'll also use a top coat made by them that I love. It's called Armor Seal. So I'm gonna take you through the process from start to finish. It's gonna be different than the stain process video because I'm actually gonna show you the painting. And we actually will probably put a glaze. This. Um, right here these embellishments in each of the drawers is perfect to put glaze on so we're probably going to use a glaze as well so stay tuned keep watching through the process because this beauty is going to turn from plain Jane to a beautifully finished project going up for sale pretty soon okay thanks you guys
Hey guys, so we're gonna get started on this piece. Um, I introduced it the other day, and I have taken all the drawers out, I have cleaned out the inside, and I have put it on the lift, so we are ready to go. The top has been sanded down to bare wood, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my cred cutter and completely clean the piece down, wipe it down, and then we're gonna let it air dry for a while. And while that's air drying, then I'm gonna go ahead and start the stain process. So grab your handy crud cutter, I talked about this in my prep video, and get ready to clean. Okay, so that's all done, and as you can see, our piece actually wasn't too bad. Usually these can be really, really gross, but you know what, I already had kind of cleaned this one down before sanding it, and now it just needed a good clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and get to the stain part while this goes ahead and just air dries for a while. You don't wanna put on your paint right away after cleaning um, because you obviously don't wanna have any reactions with any sort of um, fluid that was on there before. So this is where I put in um, the stain time, and I start with the top, and then I will go ahead and start with the body later with the painting, okay? All so right, you guys, so now we've prepped the piece, the body of it, so we're letting that dry. We're gonna go ahead and stain the top, and I'm gonna be using my General Finishes um, Java Gel for that. I've got my foam applicator. I've got a spare rag, as you can see, on the top that back there, and then one here. Sometimes you need more than one. This is a rather large um, dresser top surface, and so I wanna get the best wipe um, back as I possibly can. So I've always got one spare rag on hand so I don't have to go digging around for it and waste any time with that drying in between. So here we go. show you just the first coat because this is one of the reasons that I use and love the General Finishes Java Gel Stain. It is just got the most excellent coverage and it just, the depth of the color that you get out of just one coat sometimes is incredible. Now keep in mind different woods do take stain differently. So sometimes you're gonna have to put three coats on to achieve that dark Java color. But as you can see in the background here, it's like, I almost wouldn't do another coat, but I like that very um, even, and usually on your second coat, you'll get a nice real, you'll even out anything that might have gotten missed, but the color, phenomenal. I'll show you guys a close-up of the first coat, okay? So now, I can go ahead and get started on, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. You know, this is a lot of work, it's like a workout. Um, <laughs> I will go ahead and get started on peening the body in just a little while. Um, one thing I wanted to note, if you watched the way that I, I applied it, I went in the long, nice long strokes with my applicator, and then I took my rag and I went the same way. When I wiped back, it's nice, long, even strokes. You wanna try to do that because even when you're wiping back, if you don't do it um, in that type of fashion, you can get, you know, if you do this motion, you're gonna see that motion um, on the dresser top or whatever tabletop you're working on, it will dry that way. Keep in mind with higher heat temperatures, even though the Java Gel isn't dry, it sets up pretty quickly. So you wanna use, um, you know, you wanna use not speed, but don't be slow and not be nice and even with your, um, with your white back technique and you'll get a nice smooth even finish. I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so this is the first coat of the Java Gel stain. As you can see, it went on really nicely. It's enhancing that wood, that natural wood top beautifully. Our second coat is gonna be it, and that's gonna be totally enough. Um, so just wanted to show you guys the close up. Okay you guys, so I didn't wanna bore you by having you watch me paint all of this interior. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that it took me less than 20 minutes and I've painted the entire frame of the interior 
underneath here has been painted. And so when I now go ahead and start to do um, my sides and the rest of the body, it will just all blend so nicely. So this paint has great coverage. I will tell you with general finishes, even their light colors have great, great coverage. Expect that with any light color, you're definitely gonna have to do two to three coats, but I'll do two coats on this trim and it'll be done. Um, so just wanted to show you guys the look. Do this, it will make it look so much prettier of a final product. And as you can see, I just freehanded a line all the way down. That way when the drawer pushes in, there's no chance around this frame that you're gonna see any of that wood. So just keep that in mind, you guys. I just wanna okay. show you guys and up close the coverage of this seagull gray for a light color. Not too bad, right? I mean, it's really great. But you know, I just did a freehand line here. That way when the drawer gets pushed in, you're not gonna see that. Um, that wood so all the trim all the way around here will be all painted you guys this took me like an extra 20 minutes big deal right if you can put an extra 20 minutes into a piece and make it look really nice you're gonna get that extra money out of it that you want so keep that in mind project um, you've seen the before the during and the after I didn't go through each and every individual step like showing you how to poly because you can follow that in my stain video that I made but this is the end result this is general finishes um, seagull gray I'm gonna show you guys a close-up in a minute it's gorgeous it paints up so beautifully and um, the products that I use are right there on the dresser I used the Java gel stain on the top we did a few coats of Armor Seal, and then we used the Seagull Gray, and I cannot rave enough about these products. Um, I just love them. I've been using them for a few years, and in my opinion, there are very few others that compare. There are a lot of great paints out there, so not to say that there are not. I just really, it's like when you find someone you gel with, you kind of stick with them. It's the same thing with the paint. I find that there are a few paints that I really gel with, they work together with me really well, so I stick with them, and their outcome is just beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys a close-up now so you can check out the entire dresser. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my videos. There's a lot of great how-tos and other information that will be helpful to you if you're just getting started. Okay, thanks so much. Bye -bye. All right, you guys, so here's the final project up close. As you can see, that beautiful Java gel stain. That is two coats on there. I didn't want to go any darker. I just loved the color that I achieved with the two coats. And then on top of that is the um, General Finishes uh, Armor Seal. I did it in satin. I really like the satin finish. Uh, it's what I do on a lot of my dressers. And then here's the body of the dresser and it is just beautiful. That's the General Finishes Seagull Gray. It's just gorgeous. It's such a light, silvery, pretty color and it came out so nice. I topped it off with antique pewter knobs and it's just gorgeous. So there you guys go. Another project in the books.